So I was I was chasing this woman Eva uh, for years. She was she was she's still living in the street where I used to live in Krakow, and I was for one year trying to approach her without any any luck because she doesn't like to talk to me. She hates to me to approach her. So then by by a strange case I. I get in touch with a friend of mine who's selling old pictures at the flea market in uh, in uh, Krakow, and uh, she started to talk about this lady that she was selling beautiful, beautiful old pictures, and uh, and and she, she said, "If I know you, Lorenzo, you you would love to meet this woman." And then we we start to compare the description of this lady, and it was clearly Eva. So we fix an appointment. And uh, and then uh, I mean she's very elegant person, very elegant woman. She looked like an actress from the old days, maybe in a in a in a moment of not not exactly of uh, you know not in, in a great moment of her life, like at the end of the career and so on. And uh, so she invited uh, me and this lady to her apartment, and and this was was a big shock because they live in without electricity. The apartment was uh, was stinky and. Uh, and very very small and uh, and uh, it, it looked like a place coming from uh, two centuries ago and it was, it was a place completely out of time and it was a big shock to to imagine such an elegant woman in such a situation. After two years more or less of me visiting them, I one day I opened the door and and Eva just put on the floor like hundreds of old letters, old pictures, and I see this this treasure and this. In incredible surprise because I would never I would never think that in such an apartment you had such a collection of, of old images old pictures that uh, were so different from what the actual present moment was because it, it, you can see that th these two guys had a beautiful childhood in uh, in the woods in the nature and at, the, at that moment I, I thought all this beautiful picture they have to, to stay together they have to be uh, one thing and not be spread one by one at the flea market uh, just sold to to tourists or to somebody just collecting beautiful old pictures so and i made a deal with them that the moment i will do something with this with this old image and with the picture i was taking of them then i would pay the debt that they have with the electricity and I give back the electricity it sounds to me something beautiful to do but not just for the for the charity thing, but uh, especially, I mean, it was symbolic to me to to bring back electricity and 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 light. They had nothing, no heat, no nothing. They so just don't just boom. pay the debt, and uh, they don't care. They don't care about many things, actually. That's another thing that I was really interested in. Uh, for me, there's no real distinction about. Uh, at least for this kind of work, a way of working, a distinction between what's formal and the technological things that you need to do to be able to carry through that approach. Uh, a personal approach, a reaction, a connection to what you film, what you shoot, what you're working with. It doesn't seem formal to me. The results may come back in a way that feel painterly, they may feel, you know, they may feel what we call formal, but in reality it's, it's um, it's just really the beauty uh, that may come out at the end, hopefully, is, is something that comes out. Uh, it's a response. And uh, I work with tech technologically, if you're asking me, I work with uh, small cameras and things modified in a way that allow me to react quickly and inobtrusively in a, in a, in a situation. And we are there with, with uh, two people who are very... Uh, in their way, strong personalities, but also very vulnerable. And in a small, confined space, we couldn't bring in big cameras. We couldn't light. I'm used to working without lighting. I don't. I like. I don't like it anyway. But uh, we had to. We had to work in this way. And, and 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 it's also by choice. I always respect the lighting that's there, the color that's there. I like balance, but not to try to correct anything. My my goal is to try to recreate at the end of the process, what the light felt like when you walked into it. And walking into the light in this apartment was extraordinary. Uh, it was this dirty, dirty little apartment, filthy, if by, and it was most extraordinarily varied color and lighting and so on. And I worked with a very small mini DV camera. Everything was designed and made to, to react quickly to the situation. It's actually, who's not doing this thing?
ja będę do końca życia sama w moim wieku zacząć od nowa z kim? Ja jestem po rozwodzie. And it was a pleasure to 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 shoot there. It was a pleasure there to to work with this, but very limited technology. There's almost very little. There's color correct and very at the end, but it's about you say raw, but the situation was raw, and just as like the light was raw, everything was raw, just like your nerves are raw. So you want to keep that.